Hiya guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and today we've got a video all about B-52 tailplanes. The reason I'm putting this out is I'm asking you guys a question. What would you like me to do? What would you like me to make? And what would you be interested in? The reason I'm doing this is because this is a... The, the B-52 is not a really, really popular kit, probably because its size... Um, People sort of don't have the space to put them when they're built. So it's you know, it, it's not your P-51 Mustang or your Spitfire Hurricane. There aren't that many being built. But there are so many issues with the Model Collect kit, I just can't help making parts for it. So today I want to talk about what I've done, what I'm doing, and what you would like me to do going forward. Because basically I can't afford to make all the different options and... And, and basically sell two or three of them because it's, it's costing me money every time I make molds. So with the model collect kit, this is what we get. This is basically the, the rear fuselage have, and then we get our tail planes that go in like so, okay, like that. And then you've got a, a, a seam to deal with. Well, this is totally incorrect because on the real aircraft, you don't have a seam in there. Um, basically the way Ravel have done it, or monogram should I say, is correct. What you've got in here is a quadrant. You can see on the model collect kit they've completely missed the quadrant out. This is where the angle of attack changes. The tail planes are actually they can actually go in and then they can change the angle. Okay, let's just get this on the right angle to show you. They can change the angle of the tail plane to adjust for you know weight changes throughout the aircraft. So they can basically trim the tail plane to keep the flight level. Um, obviously, if they drop loads of bombs at the front of the bomb bay or they use up loads of fuel from the rear, you know, the, the attitude of the aircraft in the sky will change. So they use the tail planes to balance that out. Now, model collectors have completely missed out the quadrant, as you can see. And they've also got this raised area, which is incorrect because the correct way to do it is like monogram have done it. And the tail planes would fit in like so. And you would not have a... Uh, a good, you would not be putting fillers and stuff in here because that is actually an open area where the tailplane actually pivots. OK, so basically with this model, you could dry fit these, just fit them in like that um, and make it easier to store because then you can get it further back into a corner, say. But um, yeah, they don't need to be glued in. But that's actually how it should be. So you would have actually a gap in there. OK, so this is actually correct. Um, the other issue is with the with the model collect kit is they're dimensionally too small you can see if i take one of these halves and put it over the monogram one you can see if we go tip to tip you can see all this area in here it's too small now i know you've got a little bit on here but it's nothing like the amount there that's missing the span across here is 52 feet in real life um which i think works out about 230 millimeters um and if it is 230 millimeters, this the, the model collect one is about 215. So they're about they're about 15 millimeters too narrow. So you can see as you come in, you're sort of losing the whole look of the thing because it's the the, the B52 has a massive fin and a massive tailplane. Uh, you know this is like the size of a phantom wing. So basically, um, the model collect is 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 wrong in every way. There's no angle of attack. They've got the raised area here. They're too small. There's no vortex generators on the underside. These are actually two undersides. I've got them using them as pairs because I've got the, the upper halves here I've made masters from because I've actually made resin copies. So basically now I've made available, you've got an upper and a lower, sorry, two lower halves made in resin. So you can actually glue these, sand this backing off, glue these to your upper halves like so and then you'll have vortex generators top and bottom now the other thing i've done i have made inserts that go in the model collect rear section so here you go that fits inside there so you basically cut along these panel lines and then insert this this resin section into there and that fits in the fuselage beautifully and then you can fit the resin tail planes that I've made like so and they will just fit in there and you can see these are made from the monogram ones but they're actually they're engraved they've got engraved panel lines rather than raised panel lines on the standard kit 
I've also added the tip lights, which are a feature of the H, and also added the missing vortex generators, which are missing on the standard kit. So that gives you a far better look of a B52 tail. And you can see when you actually put this on here, like so, you can see how much you're gaining. Never mind this bit here, that's just a, a mismold. So that's what I've made. Trouble is, I'm having problems making these because I'm getting bubbles in the vortex generators. So the other thing I'm looking at is the whole model is covered in these trench like panel lines. When you put these on with these very fine panel lines, I think it's going to look daft because it's just going to make them look completely out of place with the rest of the model. So you could buy these and then open up the panel lines, I guess. But the other thing I was thinking, I could make it simpler so that people could use their model collect kit parts. So if you didn't want to buy this and start cutting away your fuselage and you just wanted to have Vortex generators top and bottom, you could buy a pair of these, two lower halves, glue these to your model collect kit parts, model collect kit uppers with the Vortex generators. So you glue them on like that and then just slot them into your kit. So you would basically end up with, imagine these are two upper halves with Vortex generators on them or sorry, not an upper half with my resin lower, and then you could just slot that into your kit like so, and then go from there. So that's option A. Okay, so you just buy two of those halves, two of these, left and right, glue them to the bottom, slot them into the fuselage, you've got vortex generators top and bottom. So that's one, one way of doing it. The other thing I've done is made this additional piece here that gives you your extension so basically it's I've, I've milled it out on the, on the machine and corrected the angle and everything of the tailplane basically that will fit in the fuselage like so so you've got the you've got your tailplane like that okay so that's giving you vortex generators top and bottom because you've got the plastic part on the top the resin part on the bottom and then this extension going into this piece here. I haven't made the quadrant section that goes in there yet. It's just going to be like a piece of plastic card and then molded. Um, so basically that's going to give you the correct size tailplane and you're going to have sort of matching panel line detail to it fitting in with the rest of the aircraft. So that's another option you could go with. Um, as I say, or you could go for the option with, whoops, with this one. So that one's going to go in there like so. Okay. So what I'm asking is, please let me know in the comments below if you're interested in purchasing any of this to modify your model collect kit, which one would you want to go for? Would you want to go for these two pieces here and those two pieces there? So this would be the monogram option. We'll call that the monogram option. So that would be a kit of four parts. OK, if I'm going to do this, I've ordered some new resin, which has a much longer cure time, sort of five or six hours rather than an hour for this stuff. So it's going to be very, very slow. And if I do get a lot of orders, you'll probably have quite a wait. Um, but hopefully I can put them in the vacuum chamber and it will pull all these bubbles out. So I'm having real trouble with these bubbles. If I put them in the vacuum chamber, I end up with bubbles along here. Um, and I know people are going to suggest a pressure chamber, but I, I don't have the funds to go to that. So I'm not going to... I, I'm, I keep adding stuff and it co it's all costing money and I'm spending a lot, a lot of money on making resin parts that I'm not selling, basically. So um, basically, yeah, would you be interested in this option? So we'll call that the monogram option. Would you be interested in the model collect um, widened option, which corrects the span and gives you vortex generators top and bottom? OK, or would you rather see me mold this as one piece? All right. Or would you just be interested in just having this lower section here, a pair of these to add to your model collect kit? OK, so that's the question. What would you be interested in, please, guys? Um, because I really want to know before I start making more molds, as I say, with these, I think I'm going to have to make new molds. Um, I think this is by far the best option for the result because you've got the fine panel lines, you've got the vortex generators, you've got the uh, tip lights, you've got the correct elevators. These elevators on here are too big. They're supposed to be about 10%, which these are. Um, so let me know in the comments below, please, guys, what option you'd be interested in. Um, I'm not asking you to commit yourself. If you if you make a comment in the bottom below saying I'd be interested in a pair of these, 
no one's going to come to you and say you said you wanted them um it's just what you would be interested in if you were purchasing what you would prefer to buy and then it's just a bit of market research really so thanks for watching um as i say appreciate any comments you're going to make below um any suggestions as i say about pressure chambers or changing my techniques um i'm not i'm not going <laughs> spending any more money so uh thanks for watching i'll see you all soon and we'll have part 20 of the big bad buff build whoops i just knocked the nose then we'll have part 20 of this one up very very shortly part 19 is ready to go out now and um, part part 20 i'm working on now thanks for watching guys bye for now